Uh, Barry Tully, thank you. This is Mike Richards again. Thanks for sending your swing to the Golf Digest Challenge. You've made some adjustments, I see. Your ball position looks pretty good. So at least it's not so far forward. Now again, I've watched this swing a few times. We're going to keep working on that length of your backswing. i got to somehow shorten you up a little bit. Um, Grip-wise, you look good. I'm going to put your swing in motion. We're getting close to a swing just like that. That'd be as far back as I would go. Um, one of the things I'm going to do with you, you're one of my few I'm going to tell this to, you see where your head's at. Let's try and keep your head locked right in position and not let it move so much to the right. See that position right there, how it's moved way out of that circle? Let's try and keep your head in this circle, and I'm going to try and do that for one reason, to shorten your swing. You see how far your club's gone around? I mean, your hands are clear over here. That is some major leg flexibility in your shoulders, <laughs> which could be a detriment to your swing. We've got to shorten that up. I mean, you've got two flexible shoulders going on here. So we've got to shorten that up so you gain some consistency. I'm going to put you on here. And now let's see if I can find some decent models here for you. Um, well, let's just look at BJ Singh. Even though he's hitting the wood from a different view, his angle, there's no way his head, his hands are around his head as far as yours are. There's just no way possible. What I'm looking for out of all my guys, let's look at Kenny Perry hitting the wood. Look where his hands are at. They go maybe to his right ear. Yours are going to your left ear. And I think you can see the difference in, in how far the body's moved off the ball. You need to get shorter to get more consistent, in my opinion. I don't think I've got any more front views. This is just another a girl swinging, which is not what you're looking for. But again, look at her hands. They stay on this side of the head, and your hands are on that side of your head. So I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, i got to shorten you. got to keep trying to get you shorter. So you've got to feel like your swing goes back to maybe halfway. Maybe it feels like it goes knee high. Shorten that swing up. Now, from here, see your first move? You're trying to get back to the ball. And what happens is all this body moving forward is killing you. And then I see this angle. And that, to me, tells me there's too much body going forward. So we're going to do a couple other things. We're going to keep doing this ball position. Initially, the ball position didn't look bad. I'm going to move that back even more. Sorry about that. I want to move that ball position back almost where your club head is. See where I got it? So let's move it back about two more inches. Then I want you to keep the head very still. Then I want you to feel like your hands only go no more than your shoulder high right there then I want you to feel like when you swing down all this from your rib cage up stays back behind the ball and has no movement forward I think if you do that then we're on to something so thanks for sending me another video and I look forward to some more videos from you and thanks for sending your swing to Golf Digest Challenge.